How's it going? On the back of probably one of my most popular videos where I did a comparison of my Canada Goose jacket versus some Savetti Canada parkas, um, I've come across two more jackets and it's made me definitely think about selling this one. So let's see what they're like. Hi everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a while, but today, on popular demand actually, a lot of people have been asking me to get my hands on some more Savetti jackets, so that's what I've done. Um, I want to show you two Parkers that I've got. Uh, one in particular that is making me consider selling this jacket right here. Now, if you haven't seen my review on the Canada Goose Wyndham jacket already, take a look on my channel. Whilst you're at it, make sure you subscribe and I'll be able to go into detail exactly what this jacket is about. It's a very good jacket, but it's also got a very good price tag, over $1,000 for this jacket. What made me make the original video with the comparison of the uh, Zavetti Oshwaya jacket was that I wanted to try and get a jacket that was close uh, in comparison to this one here, but with a lot smaller price tag. Now, Savetti, uh, I mean, probably in the second winter season now of becoming quite popular, and they've actually introduced two more jackets, and one of them in particular is a massive upgrade, and he's making me consider, actually, do I need to keep this when there's a jacket for a fraction of the price, which ju looks just as good. So, we'll get stuck into the first jacket, shall we? Right. So first of all, when wearing this jacket, I can instantly tell the materials feel very similar to my Canada Goose jacket. Um, and that is good. You know, this costs $79.99 and this costs $1,200. Um, the styling of this one is quite short. Uh, it's a simple black design with an elasticated waist and elasticated uh, collars, uh, cuffs. The zipper is a YKK kind of good quality heavy duty zipper it goes up nice and easily it's got the Zavetti Canada detailing in here and uh, as you zip it up you can button it up across like so now wearing it I think that looks good it's got two zipper pockets either side which are fleece lined and they're really big to get a phone in I like how they've thought about that um, and they're comfortable to wear and walk around in just like this. After zipping these up, they've both got all the zips have the Zavetti kind of Canada low kind of detail. It's the Canadian kind of um, maple leaf. And also the most important thing, this badge here. And this is what distinguishes, um, obviously, the jacket. You know it's a Zavetti Canada jacket, but without the badge here and without the badge on that one, from a distance. I don't think you'd be able to tell. Um, and that's what you've got to kind of think about, really. If the badge wasn't on these jackets, would you know? And that's, to me, definitely wearing it, I don't think you would. Um, and so to the, to the, to the old black's eye, I don't think it's that hard to tell. Um, and then when you think about the price differences between these two jackets, that feels like a no-brainer to me. The other thing that makes this brand more appealing to me is that I'm seeing a lot more people wear this now and when I see these jackets I don't instantly go that's not a Canada Goose I go that's a Savetti Canada jacket and I know it's good quality and I know it feels just like this one here and I think that's one of the main hoops that you've got to get over if you're thinking about buying one of these or buying one of these for me this costs $79.99 and that costs $1,200. There's a huge difference there. And for me wearing this, I feel like I'm getting a much better valued experience than say wearing this one here. Obviously this is a jacket with a massive following. And to an element, this jacket is incredible if you're gonna wear it in polar conditions. However, most people are wearing these jackets because of the trend, of the fashion, and because they want a, a winter jacket that is warm and looks good. So to me, this seems like the better option. Now, talk about one thing here. 
um, and that's probably this, the fur. Very different to this one here. Controversially, yeah, coyote. Um, some people have issues about that. This one is definitely a man-made polyester type fur and it's in this black and grey colour. And to me, unfortunately, this is probably the bit that ruins this jacket. Um, I'm not so sure about the fur. It might be your style, uh, it might not, but to me, I think it's just a bit too feminine. However, if you're not so sure about this jacket, um, you can take the fur off, which I'll show you in a sec. And that's what it looks like without the fur. Had a minor issue with this one. They've actually uh, pushed one of the buttonholes into the fur so I can't take it off fully. Uh, bit of a design fault there. Uh, I'm not sure that every jacket's like that, it's probably just this one. However, um, having taken the fur off, that's what it looks like. I'm not necessarily sure that people that are looking for the parka are wanting to take the fur off. That's the whole idea of a parka. And I've definitely got some another review coming up soon to um, do some comparison on jackets that don't exactly have uh, warm winter jackets, so keep your eye out for that. Um, <laughs> let's go to this bit. <laughs> Just give us a sec. I'll put the fur back on and then we'll carry on there. Crikey, that was a, that was a mission. Uh, I wouldn't say that's the easiest way of getting the fur off. It's kind of uh, these elasticated circles, uh, elasticated hoops of the buttons. Definitely not the easiest to, to get it on and off because they're really tight. But anyway, it's back on. Um, on the inside, I don't know if I showed you before, I've got one pocket for a mobile phone and then there's nothing on this side. It's split half and half, fleecy inside which goes all the way down to the arm and then this kind of zabetti kind of detail, puffery um, kind of split detail here. Nothing, spe nothing special inside but I have to admit it's probably a bit more detail than the Canada Goose. So that's the first jacket. We'll go into a few, a bit more detail now, some closer clips just to show you some of the detail but before we do that I just want to take this chance to thank you all for your support and if you're watching right now just literally scroll down just a few inches down the screen and hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying what you're seeing. that's coming next is the one that I'm most hyped about. Um, I definitely think this is the closest rival yet to this jacket here and I would fully recommend that you take a look at this very closely next. Right then, so here it is. This is the Savetti Canada Abelli fur jacket. It's £99.99 so less than £100 and I cannot believe how good it feels on. So let's start. Again, very similar materials to this jacket here. Hard wearing, not likely to um, split or get caught easily, which is a real bonus. Uh, it makes this jacket much more usable and that's probably one of the biggest things I'm afraid of. Even though this is made out of heavy wear material, getting the split in this is probably going to cost me a fair bit of money. Um, style is very similar to uh, the one I've just worn, but also very similar uh, to this. Both the jackets from Savetti are both elasticated around the waist as opposed to the um, Canada Goose jacket which isn't quite elasticated down at the bottom of the waist. Um, I actually prefer this uh, elasticated waist um, just because it sits much nicer on the hip and I think that's probably one of the bigger things that I like. It draws me to this jacket. Um, it's again it's elasticated on the, uh, the wrists here. A lot more like um, a jogging top uh, in comparison to the other one, so it's quite long, um, a bit difficult if you've got a watch underneath, but that's just picking holes in it, little holes I suppose. The feel is very similar again, not quite as packed uh, as the insulation as the last one, that one felt a lot more compact, insulated, which I don't mind actually because that allows for me to kind of be a bit more, um, bit more flexible on what I can wear underneath. I find that's a big issue with the Canada Goose. It's so well insulated, I can literally only just wear a t-shirt underneath because their weather in the UK is at best zero, really. Uh, it's very not, and this is this is a jacket that's built for 
you know, the minuses. Anyway, um, going back, the detail again on this jacket is the Svetti Canada, letting you know what it is. Um, it's got a nice heavy duty zipper, which again is, which is very easy to zip up, and that can be covered up, buttoned up, no props, which makes it very similar style to uh, this one here, as you can see. So where the last jacket had two nice big zip pockets, this one doesn't. They're a bit smaller, big enough to get your hands in, um, but not exactly secure for a phone. It can easily fall out. That's an issue. Not an issue with this one because it's a zipper. But this one really has a cool detail on here. It's like a almost um, like a, I don't know how to describe it. Pl uh, rubbery sport detail, which allows covers up two more pockets here, which are probably better for a phone actually so it's not the end of the world this one has a zipper pocket in the front small one uh, not quite big enough for a phone I would say not comfortably anyway but you can definitely put cash in there the big one is about the hood and you, as you can see it can be adjusted and it can be worn up like so uh, <laughs> I like how this one obviously can be zipped all the way <laughs> but it's generally not Halo worn. Um, it tends to be a bit more like that. The hood can be adjusted quite easily using the toggles here. No props whatsoever. So, on the bat, this one feels most like that one. Again, on this arm, it's dominated by this really cool logo. I am all about a brand, and I think this one really stands out to me as a company that are making really good jackets for a good price. and no worse than this one here so as we zip unzip it on the inside uh, we have a bigger inside pocket with just a velcro strap on it and then there's nothing on that side very similar uh, kind of polyester material going down the arm and then split with this elevated kind of detail on the side um, the whole padding of this like I said feels less insulated than the last one um, but it is much more comfortable to wear and that's what I really like about this jacket. Um, so yeah, what do you think? This is the jacket that is causing me a lot of problems. At 99.99, probably with a 10% discount code you can find one, definitely with a £10 off discount so it brings it down to well below £100. This, to me, is rivaling that, purely down to value for money. And that's what I'm all about, really. I love a good brand, but to me, I think it's about time that this one went. For the amount of times that I wear it, because obviously it's never too cold in the UK, I tend not to wear it on average days because I just get too hot. This one really stands out to me. And it's a sensible decision to make to go with this. This is the Zavetti Abelli jacket, and I can probably put a good bet on this that this isn't going to be in the shops for long it's people are going to see that this is a good jacket and I hope obviously why you come here is trying to compare these two jackets to that almighty beast there and uh, these I'm afraid are going to win I wasn't too sure last year I was definitely all about that but now I'm starting to think about this one so as you can see the fur finally is uh, that's probably the big comparison um, here, coyote fur, and this, to be honest, here, even though it's blatantly man made, it doesn't feel too different, and as you can probably tell, it doesn't look that different either. Um, the fur can be removed, I'm sure. Yep, yeah. it's on a zipper, which makes it even easier, which actually definitely sells it. So let me know what you think. Um, we'll do some more close up shots right now. I'll quickly get this fur off just so you can see what it's like. But to be honest, this looks epic with the fur on. Let's give us a sec.
So there you go, there's the jacket without the fur. <laughs> I'm actually so amazed by this. So yeah, you can buy these at Futsal. Uh, you can buy them from the Zavetti Canada uh, website direct. Um, the Zavetti Canada website do some slightly different colours that are exclusive to them. They come in red, grey, green, blue and black. I personally think both these jackets look really cool in black. But yeah, if you've loved what you've seen today, just hit that subscribe button. Comment anything below about any opinions of what you'd like to see in the future. And also what you think about this video too. And I'll catch you again soon for another amazing video. Catch you later. Bye.